There's a term that I like from urban planning, zombie project. This is used to describe proposals that never get built, but also never seem to stop being proposed. This is a good way to describe what is probably Melbourne's greatest zombie project, the railway to Doncaster. Sitting on top of a hill in the eastern suburbs, Doncaster has been promised a railway at many points over the past 130 years. The first one involved an extension of the now closed Q line and running track in a tunnel underneath the suburb in about 1890. I'll be making a video about the Q line at some point in the future, so when that's finished there will be a link to this in the top right hand corner. But the closest that the Doncaster Railway probably ever came to being built was when the Eastern Freeway was constructed in the 1970s. The large grass median running down the middle of the road from Clifton Hill to Bulleen was specifically designed to accommodate two tracks to carry trains. There was a lot of noise and marketing about it at the time, as this promotional artist impression from the Country Roads Board shows, but it was ultimately not built. The railway as proposed at this time would have been a branch coming off the Epping and Hurstbridge lines at Victoria Park Station in Abbotsford. It would have turned down the Eastern Freeway here and then headed towards Doncaster. At Marjorie Street in Bulleen, just before Doncaster Road, the line headed north through a tunnel, continuing northeast with a station at Williamson's Road before terminating at the corner of King Street and Blackburn Road in Doncaster East. Interestingly, there would have only been one intermediate station between Victoria Park and Doncaster at Bulleen Road, and the railway would not have serviced Doncaster Shopping Centre at all. Despite an act of parliament and even some construction works beginning at Victoria Park Station, doubts began to be raised about its rising costs and economic viability. The City Loop was also being constructed around this time, and I think it may have played a part in using up some of the limited funds allocated for railways at this time. Then, a few years later, the state government sold the land that it had purchased to allow the railway to continue to Doncaster at Bulleen, and the project went quiet again. The latest official attempt to build a railway was the Doncaster Rail Study, completed in 2014. It suggested three main route options. The first was a shortened 1970s option going down the Eastern Freeway, but terminating at Doncaster Park and Ride rather than Doncaster Hill itself. The second was a modified version of the 1890s proposal with a long tunnel going underneath Kew, Kew East and North Baldwin with more intermediate stations. The third was a branch line connecting to Box Hill as the first stage of a larger orbital railway, an interesting prediction of the Suburban Rail Loop project which was announced just a few years later. Ultimately, as with all the other previous reports, this one did not result in a railway being built. There have been many alternatives to a railway to Doncaster proposed, such as light rail or a bus rapid transit system, and some of these have even been implemented. One of these was the Doncaster Area Rapid Transit, or DART program, which was part of a wider project to introduce new and upgraded bus routes across Melbourne. DART involved reforming the bus network in the Doncaster area to provide more frequent, direct and higher quality bus services in an attempt to compensate for the lack of a railway. It was a huge success, with bus patronage increasing significantly after it was introduced in 2010 and it remains high to this day, at least before the current pandemic. So where to from here for this zombie project to end all zombie projects? Well, the latest instalment of the 1969 Melbourne Transport Plan, the North East Link, includes separated bus lanes travelling along the median of the Eastern Freeway from Hoddle Street to Doncaster Park and Ride, in effect replacing the proposed railway with high quality bus services. But there are still many people and organisations advocating for a railway line to Doncaster regardless. What do you think? Does Doncaster need a train? Which route should it take? Or are there other ideas to improve transport in the area instead? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video about the Doncaster Railway. If you liked it and or would like to see more, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Also feel free to get in touch in the comments or via my website at philipmalice.com. Thanks and see you next time.